All right, so we're back. We're now going to show you how we will extract the spores from the mushrooms. Um, we will use the portobellini mushrooms and the brown mushrooms that you will see here. And on the piece of paper, I've basically got a piece of paper over here. Um, we ha we'll have it upside down, the mushrooms on the piece of paper. And as the mushrooms wilt, that will take about 24 hours. Um, and we'll also put a cup over it so that the spores doesn't uh, blow all over the place and uh, you wouldn't want um, it to find a nice damp corner and grow mushrooms in some corner of your kitchen. So that's why we will use these cups that we'll place over the mushrooms. Um, but yes, so basically as we said before, um, you will see the gills of the mushrooms. The spores are located inside those gills and they will... We, once the mushroom starts wilting, those spores will be uh, released. So first of all, we just want to make sure that it's this mushroom's already uh, nice and open, so we don't have to remove too much um, off the side there. Um, we can remove the stem of the mushroom, just twist it around a little bit, and then we place the mushroom upside down, and we put the cup over it. And uh, we will do another one for you over here. We've got a little more of this overgrowth that we can uh, just uh, remove to open up all the gills nicely. Right. And we will do that for, for all the brown mushrooms. Place a cup over that one. Also, and basically, what happens? The spores will, uh, within those 24 hours, as it wilts, will fall onto the paper. It will, um, it'll be stuck on the paper, and we will cut the paper up at that point, and uh, we will put it inside our different growth mediums. Um, and uh, let's do the same for the portobellino mushrooms the portobellini mushrooms you'll see it's it's a bit harder you can't see the gills so you've got to take the stem out first and then uh, see the gills are inside there so you'll have to remove you have to remove the this overgrowth over there and you'll see the gills exposed now of these ones and we will do the same for them. Place them on our paper. And we will put our cup over it. And um, we will basically do that for um, for all of the mushrooms we have over here. And hopefully, um, we will... Uh, be ready in our next video with the paper and we'll show you what it looks like when we take it off in our next video um, when the spores are all nicely settled into the paper.